Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, my name is Mercedes. In today's video, I will be sharing with you my wish list for the month of December for Polished Pickup. Um, I wanna get this out quickly because I know the, the site will be launching, will be opening up very soon. I wanted to let you guys see what, what I was thinking of potentially picking up. I don't know if I will be picking up anything. Um, if I do, it may be two to three polishes. I did purchase um, quite a few polishes for Black Friday and uh, uh, like quite a few non-polish items like beauty items as well. And I did go really ham with the last launch that Bees Knees Lacquer had. <laughs> so if I get anything from here, um, it just it has to be something very unique to my collection to justify. Um, and plus, I've been doing very well with shopping polish pickup the past couple of months, and I want to continue to do so. I don't just want to go in and purchase everything that I like. I really want to sit down and think um, of the polishes that I'm looking at, and you know, if it's really unique to my collection, if it's something that I know I can see myself wearing, um, then I want to get it. Um, but I have about 10 polishes in my wish list. I will not be getting all 10. Um, I usually have um, like a non-polish item in there, like a nail or a hand care item, but nothing really caught my eye this month. So it's just polishes on here. So let's get into the first one. Um, we have Painted Polish Looking Mighty Pine. This is $13 and it doesn't look like there's a cap. And this is inspired by Forest of Pine Trees in the Morning Fog. Um, it's a deep emer emerald jelly featuring a champagne mix of gold and silver reflective glitters, pink galaxy holographic glitters, and micro holographic flakies. This is gorgeous. When I saw it swatched, I forget who swatched it. Um, I was like, oh my goodness, this is definitely up my alley. I love dark polishes. I love holographic glitter. Um, I'm on the fence about it because I do have a... I do have black polishes that look like this. So even though this is a emerald color, um, it's closer to the darker like black side. So I can still whip out one of my, you know, black polishes that have this hollow finish um, and still be like satisfied. Still feel like, you know, I can get what I want <laughs> or like what I'm in the mood for. So I don't know. We will see. It is a beautiful polish. I did put it on my wish list because I was thinking about it, so we will see. Second is Rogue Lacquer, and this is $19.85. It's $13, and it doesn't look like there's a cap. Um, now, I have been swatching for a Rogue Lacquer like, on and off. Um, I didn't get this one to swatch, and that's okay. Um, but I keep staring at it, and I'm not a pink polish lover by any means. Like That is not the first color that I will choose, but something about this shade is just drawing me in. Of course, it has hollow flakies. I'm in love with that finish. Um, gosh. Um, did I, even, did I even read the description? I don't know. This is a magenta pink with subtle hollow shimmer mixed in with orange pink, um, color shifting shimmer, hollow flake, and a subtle purple hue. I think that's what it is. That purple hue is what's getting me. Um, and the inspiration behind this is the maker in the year that she was born. Well, she named it because it was, it was that's the year that she was born. Um, but oh, we will see. I might, I might get it. I'm, I might. <laughs> Next up is Pampered Polishes. And this is The Magic Has Begun. It's $13 and does not look like there's a cap. It's described as a very soft pastel cream base with pink, <laughs> with blue metallic micro flakes and it's inspired by wdw castle which i'm not i don't oh my god in a walt disney world gosh <laughs> i was like i don't know what wdw is walt disney world mm -hmm. yes um i don't know so i usually wouldn't I usually wouldn't gravitate toward this towards this kind of polish. Like I wouldn't normally I wouldn't normally gravitate towards this type of shade, but I kind of love how it looks against dark skin. Um and I kind of fall somewhere in between these two guys. So I know that it it won't blend into my skin tone like this, but it's not going to pop as much as this, right? So it'll be something perfectly, oh maybe I'm a little bit darker than her, but, um, or him, 
but I do love I do love this shade so I don't know we'll see we'll see next up is polish in this is Mastermind for $14, no cap. Um, it's a soft periwinkle with holographic flakes and coppery pink pigments, and it's inspired by Taylor Swift's Midnights. <laughs> ah, so, gosh. This is definitely like an icy shade, but it's not icy enough to steer me away. I really like how sparkly it looks. I really love that soft, purpley shade. Um, oh goodness, I might just end up getting this one. I haven't really purchased any polishes recently. The most recent purchase, actually, I lied, is um, I purchased a few for Black Friday, they had a sale, but before then, I mean, I usually don't grab too many from Polish Pickup or just on the site generally. Um, and I don't know why because they do create amazing polishes. So, look at that close up. It's gorgeous. So I think this might be a uh, for sure. Next up is MJ Lacquer. And this is, wait, what's a Crelly? $12 and there's only 110 available. I have a feeling that this is going to sell out. I just, I just do. Um, I've seen it on everybody's wish list. <laughs> Let me read the description. It's a yellow Crelly with a mixture of ultra chrome chameleon and color shifting flakes, black flakes and red to orange aurora shimmer. And it's inspired by indie polishes. The rabbit hole that I found myself in, and me too, when I discovered this wonderful world of indie polishes. I still chuckle when I see that puzzled, puzzled look from others who've never heard of indie polishes. I get that look all of the time when I tell my coworkers about polishes and they're like, wait, what? Yes. Um, so I, I think I might get this one. It's, it's very unique to my collection. I love black flakies. I love the color. It's not, it's not like a sunshine yellow. At least I don't think it is. It's kind of in between a sunshine yellow and a mustard yellow in my opinion. And um, ooh, look at those flakies, that's beautiful. I think I might get this. I think I might. But if I do, I'm getting on the site exactly when they open. And then we have Lemming Lacquer, and this is in Krampish Knot. I don't even know if I said that right. $13, this 200 available. And um, this polish is described as a steely midnight blue to red multi-chrome in a turquoise jelly base with holographic micro flakes. Now, this is a very long description. So pretty much, Krampish Knot is celebrated on December 5th. It's a night when people dress up as Krampus and chase naughty children through the streets. Krampus is a folklore figure that punishes children who have been bad by whipping them with his switch. Huh. And he takes them to his lair. What an inspiration. But the polish is gorgeous. So I actually like, I do I do appreciate that, that shift. But if I'm looking down on my nails, majority of the time I'm going to be looking at this color, right? And I like that color. And I like how it has the sub, like the subtle, the subtle shift. So you can still look down at your nails and you can see that base color but you can still see like the outlines of of that red shift and right here you can see what i'm talking about so you're looking directly at your nails you see that main color towards the sides of this swatcher's hands you can subtly see that red multi-chrome shift subtly but i do like it and this is gonna be a tough one i don't know if i'm gonna get this one maybe Possibly, like I said, I'm only doing two to three, so I really have to be good. Next up is KB Shimmer, and this is Awfully Fond of You. It's $12, and there's no cap. Usually, KB Shimmer doesn't have a cap. Um, gosh, this is very long. So basically, let's see. It's described as a rich, as rich purple in color. Um, this shade quickly shows off a range of hues from bold fuchsia to blue leaning royal to near indigo. A scattering of micro hollow flakes adds a twinkle to your manicure. This tropical inspired shade is best in two coats. So it's inspired by sunsets in the tropics. Oh my goodness, the shade is so vibrant. I don't know. I, I added it on my wish list because it's a beautiful polish and I did 
like like as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh yes, like I would definitely want to get that. But do I have something similar in my collection? I'm pretty sure that I do. Pretty sure, but I just. I mean, it's the hollow flakes. So if I see something with hollow flakes, it's like instant need. But I know that I know that I may not need this one because I think I may have something similar. Next up is colored spectrum, colored. Oh my goodness, colored spectrum um, polish, and this is love toned. It's twelve fifty, and there is one hundred and fifteen available. Um, it's a cherry red with black micro flakes and hollow, and it's inspired by my own love story. Let's see. I am definitely getting this one. I love the black flakies. I love red polish. Um, it's I love it. It's simple but bold enough that it makes a statement. So this is a definitely must have. So I will be shopping when Polish Pickup opens to make sure that that one does not sell out on me. Next we have Baroness, and this is Cosmosoma, I believe. And this is 12.50. There's only 85 of these available. Whew. So this is described as a mix of black flakies, shifty pink orange, and blue purple iridescent shimmers, black and blue reflective glitters, and a sprinkle of black hollow galaxy glitter. It's inspired by a beautiful type of moth from Costa Rica. That's a beautiful inspiration with blue iridescent glass wings. So this is this is gorgeous. Um, oh look at that! I love that. I love that like 3D, 4D, 3D. <laughs> I don't know. I love like that 3D effect. It just looks like the nail polish is just like doing its own thing. Now I can tell it's very textured, and this is something that you could, you should definitely be using like a glitter smoother. Um, I don't think two top two coats of top coat will do it for you if you are thinking of this. I don't mind textured polishes. I really don't. Um, I have the tools that I need to make it look how I want um, and I don't really mind the removal process because I love how it looks on my nails but this is gorgeous gosh this is gonna be a very tough month the last one that I have on my list is from adored colors and this is two and counting it's 1250 and there's only a hundred available and this is described as a dark blue base with multi-chrome shimmer and scattered hollow micro glitter. This is a silver magnetic polish, best on two to three coats. Um, adored, and this is the inspiration. Um, adored Colors is turning two in December. Congratulations. My inspiration is to celebrate this milestone. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get this one. I added it on my wish list because I love, I love the blue shade. Like I've mentioned before, if I did, maybe I just mentioned it in my head, but I don't, I'm not, like magnetic polish isn't, isn't like a make or break deal for me. If something is magnetic and <clears throat> if something is magnetic, uh, like I, I would wear polish magnetic, like magnetized or non-magnetized. So I don't know if I'm going to get this for sure. I love the shade. I do like that it's magnetic. I'm not big on magnetics. It's not something that I like need a whole bunch of. One because I have a large con like collection and magnetic polishes will will die over time. So if I'm looking at a magnetic polish, I really want to make sure I like it in its non magnetized state just in case. But I do love that that shade of blue, but I may have something similar in my collection. So we'll see. But yes, guys, that is my wish list. I am going to have to be brutal and really think about the polishes that I want. Like I said, I really don't want to go over that three mark. Maybe four. Let me stop. Let me just keep three in my head. I need to keep three in my head. Um, I know for sure I'm already going to get the color spectrum. I definitely want that one. So I'm going to have to figure out and maybe MJ Lacquer. It's going to be a tough one, guys. It, it definitely is. So um, uh, <laughs> we'll see. So yes, let me know if, you, if you're if you shopping polish pickup. Let me know if you're planning on 
um, picking up any of the same ones that I have on my wish list or if you also have those on your wish list I'd love to know um, but yes thank you so much for watching I will try to get these videos up way earlier in advance um, things have just oh, it's crazy my schedule is just crazy I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one